Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren. Today I want to talk a bit about the 35th trade debacle, the community outlash that came from it, a little bit about the AP grind, my personal thoughts on it, and let's get to it! If you don't know what happened recently, but during the patch 715, Blizzard decided to unleash the 35th trade into PvP. This had some massive, massive implications where some classes were basically one-shotting and Blizzard does not want to disbalance the Season 2 ladders, so they disabled it, but they said they want to re-enable it for Season 3. With that fact in mind, a lot of people got really, really upset about this. The idea behind the trait is, the trait increases your damage, or your healing, or tankiness, whatever spec you're at, and when you have weapon fully built up, you deal 15% more DPS than the guy next to you. But that takes a lot of AP. It actually takes about around 50 million AP in order to get your AP enough after you fully built up your weapon. So after you fully built up your weapon, a hidden trade unlocks and you have to sink 20 points into it. First point is 5% damage increase, every other point is half a percent. But once you build it up to full 20, you deal 15% more healing, DPS, whatever you're at. And with that in mind, this is where the community kind of had a split. We have the PvP community, we have the uh, general community in World of Warcraft, and I guess the devs that are just like not really sure how to go about this. So we have the PvP community that are saying that eventually everybody is going to have to grind AP. PvP is not one of the easiest ways of grinding AP. Although you can do your average everyday BG, you do your arenas, you do get some artifact power from that. But not every one of those is going to give you enough artifact power to get 50 million. Just think about how many 2v2 arenas you have to do, how many battlegrounds you have to do and win in order to get 50 million artifact power just to fully build up your weapon. So PvPers aren't happy that in next season it's going to be more about the 35th trait than it is about player skill. One of the things that Blizzard did when they sold Legion originally, they said that there's going to be less gear involved in terms of PvP. The gear isn't going to make as much of a difference as it did in previous expansions. If you played during Mr. Pandaria or World of Genre or basically every other expansion, you would know that the PvP aspect of the game and gear worked so close hand in hand. Let's say like during the Cataclysm when people had resilience in their gear, if you didn't have resilience on your gear, you would get one shot by any DPS. So people had to stack resilience. There was gear just for PvP, and that gear allowed you to perform better. DPS, healing, or even tanking, let's say you're running flags in BG. So we have all these components working, and the Blizzard decided in Legion, we're gonna make it all about skill. Gear is gonna be less of a factor. But with this 35th trade, people that have the AP, which is much easier to farm if you, let's say, are a PvEer and do raids and dungeons and can farm Mythic Plus back to back, you can get on that fully built up 35th trade much faster than your average PvPer. And that's basically what the community is talking about. That's their argument and that's their, uh, I guess, dog in this, uh, in this fight. Now we also have the casual community of the game that either don't have that much time, maybe have families, jobs, school, and can't dedicate that much time to the game. And they're not happy about the 35th trait either. And the fact that Blizzard will be expanding on the weapon itself. They're saying that the grind for AP is a little bit too much and it just tires people out and has been some of the leading reasons why some people have left Legion in general. Some people simply don't like the content but other people have said the AP grind is a bit too much for them, they don't enjoy it, they don't like it and that's just not for them. And I honestly don't think the AP grind is that terrible. It does have some downsides on its own but it's not that terrible. And let me explain. Back when the game was in World of Warcraft Vanilla, whether you played it or may, might have tried a private server for it, uh, you might have experienced the grind that is World of Warcraft Vanilla. Every mob you have to kill, let's say you're farming zebra hoops, you have to kill that zebra, sit down, eat food, once you're full you have to check that zebra, he has no hooves, you go and kill another one. After about 20 zebras and 20 stacks of food later and you might have died once and had to run all the way back, you have noticed that you just spent 30 minutes just getting one quest done. But the accomplishment you felt out of that damn grind was so satisfying. And that's one of the things that World of Warcraft has been about. It has been about a grind. And I feel like every good MMO and even an MMORPG, maybe even some single player RPG games, part of the fun of those games is the grind. Being able to put your nose to the grindstone and just farm something, kill something over and over again, and eventually once you get it, oh, the character progression feels so good. When the game's main component is character progression, character power, how they look and whatever, after you design your character and growing that character, when that is your main component for the game, 
Having some grinding and a reward aspect out of the grind I think is a good thing. And the way they did it in Legion is done fairly well. Legion does not force you to grind. But if you do grind, you get some advantages. So if you're somebody who will put the extra time, the extra effort will get extra better at the game. Somebody who will learn the spec throughout full and full, through head to toe, those players will actually be rewarded for the effort that they put in. People will be rewarded for the grind, but they're not forced by it. If a player wants to get in a group for Mythic Plus and just grind out back to back to back on all the AP that they get from the Mythic Plus, they can do so and they, grind, they can grind the weapon up to a full completion if they so wish to do so. And I think that is a good idea. The fact that you can do it and get stronger and see that strength in terms of your damage increases as a reward. But the fact that the game doesn't force you doesn't alienate players really. It doesn't try to alienate players but I feel like it ends up alienating players either way. Because there's a lot of players that either can't dedicate more time or simply aren't that great at the game, whether it be PvP or PvE aspects of it, and they simply just cannot, cannot by whatever forces that guide them, put that much more time into the game and be able to reap the same rewards. So we have the people that simply don't have the time to grind, and those people are going to be, in a way, left behind if they are not playing this game of catch-up. So that must suck with the fact that if you are simply not able to by any means to catch up to everybody else no matter how hard you try that's a that's a shitty situation to be in always trying to play catch up every time you're playing the game and no wonder some people would quit so i understand that completely if somebody let's say has work school whatever just not enough time in the game just can't put in the time i understand if that is somebody who wants to leave the game but then also we have PvPers who are talking about the 35th trade and the AP grind, possibly creating this issue of how Blizzard sold Legion. And the way they sold it is, we want to take away gear as much as we can in terms of a differentiator between, play, uh, between players and PvP, and make it more about skill. Player's skill outshines the gear, but this would kind of go the opposite way around it. It doesn't matter how skillful you are, if you are dealing 15% more damage flat than anybody else, that's not a lot you can really do with. If you are simply dealing 15% more damage, you are going to be outmatched by some of the other players. Or you're going to be the one outmatching some of the other players, sorry for how much it's worse there. So we have this difficult situation. We have the AP grind, which some people are saying is way too grindy and is a bit much for the game and kind of turns people off. We have the people in the PvP community that are turned off by the idea that they will have to grind in order to get better, uh, basically deal more damage and be more viable for PvP. So we have this weird situation where nobody really knows the best answer. I don't think there's an easy answer for the situation either. So it is really, really difficult to figure out the situation that we're in. So I guess my question to you guys is what are your thoughts? on this. What are your personal thoughts on the AP grind? What are your thoughts on the 35th trait in PvP? Because that is currently the hot topic and I kind of want to bring you guys to your attention as best as I could. Just give you all the details behind it and let you guys decide thoughts for yourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow is a new day where I start the uh, one a day upload schedule. Uh, I need to get some food in me and uh, get to working on uh, tomorrow's video but uh, until then I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know everything you want in the comments below. Please share your thoughts with me. I appreciate it. Hopefully everybody's having a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.